Um, George has had some and producer. And we're, okay. Okay, so we're talking today with George Stamakis, prominent playwright and producer. And we're talking about uh, theatrical costume design. Um, George has had some some specialized uh, experience in this area, and he's had in, in many of his uh, produced successful plays. Um, we're talking about how would you define your theatrical costume design career, and and George was saying it was very uh, pleasurable in the results that he got. So can you tell us more about that, George? Uh, what is the question again? In other words, how would you define your theatrical costume design experience and experiences? And well, as I mentioned earlier, is uh, it's achievement of the arts of the theater. It's the satisfaction uh, of doing something beautiful. Uh, right. As I mentioned before, I'll repeat it. It's like the taste of salt and uh, hard to describe, but it's pleasurable. It's it's, it's a good feeling, right? Uh, with the ups and downs uh, that come, uh, doing a, 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 a or executing a design for a complete cast. <clears throat> Overall, that has been very very enjoyable. And when when did you realize you wanted to 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 get involved in theatrical costume design? You know, I understand that you're a producer and you do you do every aspect of, of making a play, um, but this is one area that's uh, that's very important. So, uh, and, and one more thing too, the theatrical costume uh, designs. Do you start out with a sketch? Do you make a do you, do you actually do art and make a sketch and then um, then pick out the fabrics and the various different things, or, or how does that work? Yes, well, I I pick up the uh, I make a sketch of the the character that I want to dress. I have to take the consideration all the the, the facts uh, about his his part in the play and his role, and then uh, I make the clothes to fit his character and his uh, the the person and the character which he plays. Uh, and uh, depends on the time of the day, and if it's, uh, and I have to dress him accordingly uh, when he's going to a party, or when he's going to uh, to meet a girl, or uh, or if it's a, a man or a woman, of course, yeah. And so, what was the first article of clothing you ever designed? Was it for your first play, or had you designed things before that? Uh, no, it's funny because since I was a 10, 10, 11 years old, I always was fooling around making uh, clothes with uh, with a machine, that handheld machine my mother had, right. and uh, looking at pictures of movie stars and trying to dress them. And, and my first piece of clothing that I made, that says, it was a, a beautiful uh, jacket from my mother. Oh. And... Uh, Started me into the uh, to the uh, 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 that kind of, of mode to go towards the clothing of uh, uh, as that, as I was a child. There was a lot of wars going on, a lot of killing, a lot of uh, human beings were not that beautiful to to be around. Right. Uh, so uh, I I decided that I would make them look beautiful. You know, or maybe they would change. They would be, uh, uh, and sometimes clothes make the, the person. Let's face it. Right. So, uh, and uh, I continued on. I, I, I learned the business of uh, of making clothes. Uh, I spent years and years in in tailor shops and the masters of uh, creation, and uh, I learned how to sew and and everything. It takes time and patience. Right. Okay, yeah. that's that's very good, George. And your and your mother, did she like you the first piece of clothes you made? Did she like what you made for her? Oh yes, yes. She uh, she was very happy. It was a nice uh, velvety uh, dark blue velvet. I remember. <laughs> and 